Wake up and smell the coffee, Mr. LaRusso. Extreme situations require extreme measures. Yo, guys, back to Cobra Kai Karate. Welcome back to a brand new video. And guys, today we are saying why I think that Cobra Kai will win in the Saikai Tai Kai. Now, right before I start, I do want to say sorry I've not posted for a while. I've kind of been busy. And I do want to say I am actually working on a new set of uh, videos, like a series I'm going to start doing. Where basically I'm going to write a fan fiction of each continuous episode. So part one happened, you know I'm not the biggest fan of it. So now I'm going to write episode 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, basically part 2 and part 3, following off part 1. And basically I'm going to try to save the season and get it back on track. That sounds a bit cringe, but you know, you, you understand the idea. I'm trying to make it make sense and trying to make it better, at least in my opinion, because I didn't like it all that much. So I'm just trying, because I do want the season to be good. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I already have episode six written. I'm going to make the video soon. And if you guys have any ideas for the parts continuing forward, let me know. Anyway, let's get right into the theory on why I think Cobra Kai will win the Slight Guy Tai Kai. Now, before season six, if I would have said, if I heard someone say this, I would say you're absolutely ridiculous. I would say you're stupid because that's what it felt like it was setting up. Uh, in my opinion, it felt like they were going uh, to do. I, I thought Dan Miyagi were not going to do the Saga Tai Kai. I was like, you know, maybe they, maybe because the reason they're doing the Saga Tai Kai was to take down Silver. Now that Silver's in jail and Cobra Kai's gone, as far as they know, I feel like they would just, you know, move on. But then I feel like Kreese would come back and then Kreese would try to get it back in. They would join in to stop him. Then, but then Kreese would start going on Redemption, and then Silver would, would join the Cobra Kai. Then I feel like by episode 10 or whatnot, they would beat Cobra Kai. And then the final five episodes would be like aftermath of basically Terry Silver and uh, Cobra Kai going after them to like basically kill them because they have nothing else to live for after losing the World Tournament. Sounds a bit corny, but that's I feel like, that's, that's I feel like the road they're going down. But now, we are having the Saga Tai Kai begin in episode 6, and there is 10 more episodes left to continue. So this is why I don't think they're going to win. Let me explain. Number one, it is just not set up for them to win. Everything is set up for them to lose. And let me just let me just say some things to why I think that. The whole Miyagi-Do dojo is on balance. Everything from the senseis of Johnny and Daniel fighting, from Tori leaving and how that's going to affect um, Robbie and how that's going to affect Sam and how it's going to affect the whole dojo and, and her going to Cobra Kai and having to fight against her from Devin, uh, she literally basically cheated to get in and now that and I'm guessing that at some point they're going to find out or even if they don't find out you have a cheater in the dojo and also the whole thing with uh, uh, Hawk and and uh, um, Dimitri they're like going through stuff right now so like I feel like the whole dojo is unbalanced and I just and this is not just like the all value this is the world tournament so I feel like you're setting up all these characters to like be so unfocused so unbalanced and you're bringing them in a world tournament in episode 5 of a 15 episode show what does that make me think i think they're gonna lose and this is what i think they're gonna do um i think that they're all gonna be on balance they're gonna lose and basically the miyagi dojo are gonna have to realize do and then about i think when they win i feel like silver will eventually get back in cobra kai i feel like kareese will be kicked out because i feel like kareese will start going on a redemption arc a bit as they started up and then i think he will eventually get kicked out because maybe kim looks at him like he's too soft or whatnot maybe when tori comes in he's not as hard on the students because we do know that he does care for tori um and then yeah i think that eventually kim's gonna realize that she needs to do what's best for her students and she's gonna realize that silver is the best for the students and silver does still own 50 percent shares of the cobra kai name and dojo just so you know so after cobra kai wins the world ride silver's back on top and evil has taken over Johnny and Daniel and Miyagi-Do will have to realize they have to take down Cobra Kai. They need to respect each other. They all got to be on the same side. And I feel like Tori might even go join them again or whatever. And then they'll basically go after him. Basically what it is, it basically is a rehash of season four and season five. Of the like, bad guys winning, them coming together to take them down. And although that is very repetitive that they already did that, it's the only way I can see the season making sense. Because how else would happen? Is Miyagi-Do going to win when they're completely unfocused in 10 episodes? And if they do win... And what's Terry Silver gonna do? What's Chris gonna do? What's the, what's the climax? Um, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, so although it is a bit of a rehash of season three and um, I mean season four and five, I feel like it's the best direction to go at least from what you set up in the first five episodes. I would have set it up a bit different personally, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I think that's why I think they're gonna lose um, because and also like the whole another thing I want to say is there's a whole thing of like. If Miguel loses, it's a it's a bad on the show's part. But if Robbie loses, it's bad on the part. Because Robbie, he's like second place, second place, second place. You know, this is really personal. If he loses again, 
that's gonna be this remember guys this is not just like another season this is the last season of the show i mean whatever happens with the characters in this season is the end of their character for as long as we know it, they could pick it up later on in the future but this is basically the end of their character that's what they're leaving it off this is the end of their character arc so they leave robbie off with no wins that's gonna be bad but at the same time your main character from season one who you start a whole redemption about in season three of him and he has to prove it again and then um he loses to robbie in, in the thing and now you're telling me losing this like guy tight guy after in season four he got injured and it wasn't even fully back and you're setting up a whole thing of him wanting to win for his college it's like when if robbie wins it's gonna be bad for the show on miguel's part but if miguel wins beyond his robbie part so it makes me think if they both lose then they could find gratitude in their loss because like if both lose it's not going to be like one picked over another they'll both be at the same spot and then they both can realize that there's things bigger outside of karate and i think it's better for them both than have it have one and the other one in glory of a trophy you know it just makes more sense but anyway guys that's what i think let me know what you guys think about this do you think they're gonna lose and if not how are they gonna win and have it make sense for the show when it's this early let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear why and thank you guys for joining guys and yes guys it is my free year anniversary i'm not sure if this can be posted the day of or it can be posted tomorrow but august 16th free anniversary i'm going live tonight or maybe, maybe yesterday i'm not exactly sure where i'm gonna post this but Thank you guys so much for this free year. It's been amazing. It's the best time of my life. I appreciate you all. And I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Always remember, extreme sports require extreme measures. Peace out.